Hello everyone, this is Jack from Dr. Preset. Today we are doing something different. If you follow my project alone, you should know I have the lithium battery running on my Prius for years. Uh, and then I developed the Dr. Preset to help me monitor to test the lithium battery. So many users reach out to me asking, Hey Jack, have you ever uh, run the life expectancy test on lithium? Uh, of course, the answer is yes. I've been doing that for years, almost every day, to keep me a, keep a close look, close eye on the lithium battery. Uh, so today, I'm just going to show you that uh, running the life expectancy test on this particular prototype or the test car. This battery on board has been here for one year. You probably see that in a lot of videos. Uh, I'm doing that, doing the range test on the Gen 2, Gen 2, Gen 3, or using this pack. Okay, we have everything set up. The engine was warm up. I just picked up my kid from school. Um, so that's about 10 miles driving. Battery temperature 95 Fahrenheit, that's nice and warm. Um, so let's go ahead with the life expectancy test. Step one, put here and drive full throttle all the way. You can see the current 56 amp charging the battery. Probably gonna take a minute or two. Okay, the charging power is at 45 amp. You can see decreasing means the battery is almost going to be full. SOC at 70%. Okay, here we go. The step two. Okay. Now reverse gear. Here we go, that's step, step three, basically uh, keeping the needle within the green area. So you can see the bar meter or the energy meter right now is at four, well, one bar to four. Okay, keep it at the green area. SOC has 63%. We still have a long way to go. SOC at 59.5%. SOC at 56%. SOC at 49.5% Alright, SOC at 40%, the test could finish any second now. And here we go. <laughs> the result, 124.95%, that's, that's 125%. Uh, so, this is it. The, um, the lithium battery is running at a higher voltage. Therefore, the car always thinking it has more power than it's supposed to have. 
I mean, 125 percent will never happen on nickel metal hydro battery. Uh, I, I used to own a, a brand new Lexus hybrid. Uh, the first day I got a Lexus, I measured at 105 percent or something, and one year later it already dropped to almost 90, uh, or high 80 percent already. Uh, with this lithium battery, it has been running in more than one year and torture tested. And as you can see, it's still at 125%. That's, that's why I always have power available for me to use. And my, my air condition is always running cool. And uh, my MPG is much better than the uh, nickel metal hydro battery. And a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people don't not even believe that it's going to keep bring any better MPG to your car. But this is it. It has 125% from car point of view. Right, so you think it has more power, that's why you always give you more power, more electric juice than the engine, than the engine kicking. Um, okay, I hope you like this content. Uh, I will do more testing. This is the Gen 2. I'm going to run the same test with the Gen 3, uh, as well as Gen 4, as well as Pre C, and show you the same the result. Pretty much it's going to be the same. It's going to be 120 something percentage. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Check out our website at uh, projectleasing.com. Thank you.